Hey everyone, look what we got on our desk. The card pewter, credit card sized little computer made by M5 Stack. In this video, we are going to unbox this awesome hardware and see its different specs and features. So, let's get started. There is one Allen key attached here, and looks like there are magnets inside card pewter. This Allen key may be provided to remove these screws and open the card pewter. We'll see. So, here is a card pewter. Beautiful, isn't it? Let's see hardware specs one by one. You can see, the card pewter's front panel is dominated by a full QWERTY keyboard and the color display. The keyboard has 56 rubber dome keys, 4x14 layout, including letters, numbers, and modifier keys like function. You can see, a tiny digital MEMS microphone is visible at the front marked as mic, which can be used to get voice inputs and record sounds. The right side of the front panel holds the removable M5 Stamp S3 module with an ESP32 S3 FN8 chip, which provides Wi-Fi and Bluetooth connectivity, as well as I.O. expansion. It has Type-C USB port, and below that, there is speaker output vent. On this side, we'll get Groove connection port. M5 stack have different types of Groove-based interfacing units, hats, and sensors are available, just like Arduino board shields. For example, this is AC voltage measurement unit. You can interface it with card pewter, like this, and use this interfacing to measure the AC line voltages. You can also show those readings on the display of this board. This is front side of card pewter. Now, let's see the back side. On this side you will see LEGO compatible mounting holes, useful for attaching to LEGO setups. Down here, in infographic they have shown more features, specs, power, and data connections flow. Also, the pinout of LCD display is given. The card pewter is powered by a split battery system. Their connection diagrams are shown here. Let's open this backpack and see inside. So here is the main battery. It is of 3.7 volts, 1400 mAh capacity. This sturdy gray plastic case integrated with these two strong magnets. This become useful when attaching card pewter to metal surfaces. On this inside panel, they have given all the connection information of card pewter. Let's put on the backpack again. You can see, they have shown that both batteries are rechargeable via the onboard charging circuitry with TP4057IC. This dual cell design will improve the battery life of card pewter. Okay, on this top side of card pewter, you will get Stamp S3's Go button, On Off button, Micro SD card slot, Reset button, and Infrared emitter labeled as IRG44. This was all about hardware overview of card pewter. In next video, we will see demo of different features.